Invasion of privacy or a step toward fewer mass shootings. That piece of plastic in your carry, in your wallet or your purse will now start categorizing gun purchases. Visa, MasterCard and American Express are already on board. Yeah, the top three there. Rachel Aragon is live in Midtown Atlanta. And Rachel, some say the new credit card code that could prevent major gun crimes and mass shootings. How does this all work? Yeah, that's certainly one of the arguments, but we know as of recently, these major companies, major credit card companies say they are in fact moving forward with this new system that would have a code that would help track these gun purchases. But some are questioning the real big question they want answers is, will it actually and effectively prevent mass shootings? Tracking suspicious gun purchases may have just gotten easier. But it's a great development because we have to study this problem. Major credit card companies adopting a new sales code for gun transactions. The National Registry is against the law, which is what they're trying to do now backdoor wise. While some gun rights advocates are speaking out against the move that will separately categorize sales at gun and ammunition stores, Others feel it could help flag suspicious purchases to law enforcement. The credit card companies doing this so that we can red flag certain gun purchases is a major step in curbing the problem. Crime victims attorney Mike Haggard says several mass shootings in recent years could have been prevented given the shooter's credit and purchase history. And I predict they'll get around this one too. Jerry Henry, executive director of Georgia Carey, thinks this move by credit card companies will just lead more people to use cash or checks for purchase. So what are they going to do then? They're going to start tracing every cash uh, transaction. Henry says even if credit purchases are flagged, there's no way to know the person's intent. And how are you going to know? So you know that somebody went down and purchased a firearm or a credit card. How do you know that he purchased it so he could go commit one of these crimes? You don't. You can't read people's minds. Now, Visa had previously expressed those concerns about that very proposal, saying earlier in a statement, quote, we believe that asking payment networks to serve as a moral authority by deciding which legal goods can or cannot be purchased sets a dangerous precedent. Great life in Midtown. Rachel Aragon, CBS 46 News. Rachel, thank